backwards. Oh my god, take these out. Oh, there you go. Problem solved. And then what you say, how you miss me? Yeah, you miss me. And all the things that we did, we said you're gonna travel from the islands to Madrid. We had a lot of plans, but they all disappeared. Why? Oh, because of some kids. But it's okay, cause I'm moving different. Don't be saying nothing when I post it with other bitches. Pull up my brothers. We're playing Would You Rather today. Yeah, yeah we're filming Would You Rather. And wanna know who gave us these Would You Rather questions? Oh, oh my god, that's what I was gonna say! People from <laughs> our Instagram account. All of them are in the responses section. So, so. want to know what you should do to be a part of our series? Uh, go follow our Instagram account so that you can answer these when we post them. Can you put it in between my fingers? I'll and so that you could potentially be, your question could be in a video, or yeah. you could come up with the entire video idea. Yeah, we ask you guys a lot. Like, our feedback, we take fan feedback very seriously here oh, on yeah. the Sterniello Triplets. You, you guys give us, you guys because, I mean... We're here to make content. Any content we make, we have fun making. So basically, it's whatever you guys want to see, we make. So you guys have a huge impact on our channel. Would you rather have been an only child or only have one of your siblings, one of your two brothers as a sibling? I would oh. say one of my two brothers as a sibling because I wouldn't know that I would have been a triplet. Yeah. So then it's just like I'm growing up with a sibling normally. Yeah, it depends on whether or not we have like recollection that we could have been triplets. Yeah. yeah. Like if it was like, oh... You were gonna be a triplet, but there's here's one of them, or just like you have no idea that you were gonna be a triplet. I think I'm picking the twin, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I think so too. I'd rather have a buddy there with exactly. me than nobody. So yeah, exactly. I agree. I'm picking the twin. Would you rather it be Halloween or Christmas? Christmas, hundred percent. Well, like, no, I disagree. Because I was gonna say, if you I, like Halloween more than Christmas, you're you're goofy. You're no, I like Halloween. I like Christmas more than Halloween. It's a better holiday. But I feel like Halloween's an important lead up to get you to Christmas. Like, All I'm saying, oh, skip the so Halloween you need the season. steps. So that's why I'm saying I would rather it be Halloween now. Halloween. I guess it's Halloween time. I guess gotta, I get that. But like, ease in. I guess I get that. But like, just like the whole idea of Christmas. Christmas is the happiest time of the year for Happiest anyone. time of the year. <laughs> for anyone. Anyone. Like, I guess I you could agree. Be, you could be completely utter depressed. Even though Christmas Holiday is around the corner. Cheer. Even though it might go from like 99% really in a bad mood to 98, you're still going that one. You want to know who was really negative during Christmas? Who? The Grinch. Then he turned it around. Exactly. Mm. You can, no one, even that, show, could, that shows that Christmas Even the Grinch so couldn't even be joy. mad during his, Christmas. His heart mean? grew like at least three sizes. That, that day. day. That, that did. That day. That day, yeah. Jesus. That's, what it that's says. wild. Mm. It's insane. And he used to bully his dog too. Fucking bitch. Yeah, Max is a real one. Yeah, he really, he literally brought the whole sleigh down to Whoville, and like doesn't. Yeah, get, he doesn't one get any dog, credit for that. And he got shit. No credit. for Not that a treat. Shit. Nothing. He had one antler too. Like, well, I don't know. Yeah, that shit was just taped through his body. It wasn't taped. It was a fucking rope around yeah, his chin, tied like, up like, like a little. Surprised he could chew. That's wild. All right, ask him. Uh, you're fucking. Would you rather be stuck in a room all together for a week, or be separated for a month? Uh, stuck in a room for a week because yeah. I practically do that already. That's what I was gonna say. Stuck Wait, in a room together all week because we stuck in a room already. together all week or uh, separated from each other for a month. Oh, the week? You yeah, me? because we do that literally already. So yeah. Ugh, this question just freaks me out. You say it anyway. Would you rather only be able to all date the same person or never get married? I'm never, never getting anyone married. in my yeah, entire life. That's what I'm saying. I get it, the whole sharing and caring bit, but not with this. <laughs> yeah, I get like this being part. a triplet, you know, we have a lot in common, but yeah, the, no, the significant part. other can... That can be something. Also, if I, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, also I if it was that. my pick, it would be a man. So that yeah, would, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, so I'm that would really spice me. things up. Yeah, yeah. It just wouldn't fit the same agenda. the other way. If, yeah, like, me and Chris. Yeah, picked, so yeah. You gotta, you gotta be a, a woman. That, yeah. that, it just that would wouldn't not, fit the agenda. Would yeah. not fit. Definitely the going the other way. On that definitely. One. Wait, no, no. Hold on. Wait a second. I'm Wait like, what do you mean by that? Would you rather come across dangerous aliens or Bigfoot? Bigfoot. The fact that really? I, I honestly, well, no. I feel like aliens have like high tech action. No, I Nick, the second you occur a dangerous alien, you're done. No, the fact I would have no, done. I would have said Listen, I would have said, I would have said alien instead of Bigfoot. But the fact that the word dangerous was placed in front of there, exactly. fucking Bigfoot You're all done. day long. But I feel like it's also, like, even though they didn't say it, I feel like it's also Nick, what do you know Bigfoot. about aliens? If it was dangerous Bigfoot and dangerous Nick, alien, Nick, what do you I know about aliens? aliens? Nothing. Okay, what do you know about Bigfoot? Nothing. What do you, like, no, for real, like... It's a tall, big yeah. creature. Okay. So you're more prepared to battle... Exactly! 
Exactly. I like That's what that. I'm saying. Okay, An okay. alien could come down with a fucking cyborg king, and you could be sucked into like fucking nothingness for like eternity. <laughs> exactly. Valid. Valid That's what I'm saying. Points. You have to go Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Bigfoot's Easily. the only right choice on that one. <laughs> Would you rather be hot and stupid or ugly and intelligent? Hot and stupid. Given that I I'm, am. Given that I'm hot and intelligent, I, <laughs> I'm i not going to answer this question. You guys both, because I can't Both of your it. answers to that almost made me puke. So I'm, I'm hot and stupid. I'm done. Would remember. you rather not shower for a week or not brush for a week? Not brush? Yeah, yo. Not no. brush instead of not shower because I feel like if I'm eating meals and drinking water... That can like somewhat equ like make it equivalent to brushing, where there's nothing you can do that's equivalent to the shower. Yeah, I was also thinking that like you I, could just I drink honestly, a bottle of water and you're like back. Yeah, you could make it. Like, you're not like really here. brush. Yeah, I think they did. Would you rather travel to the past and see your ancestors, or travel to the future to see your grandchildren? Future. Really. Wait, we're going future or past? Wait, let me think about yeah, this. Yeah, it's like you can see your ancestors, like grandma's parents. Never or you mind. Can see, like your. I'm grandma. going in the past because I want to see who I'm related to. Like, like. Yeah. Like, what if, oh! Yo, what if like Abraham Lincoln's like our third uncle? Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. What if there's another set of triplets somewhere up there? Oh my Ooh. god. Definitely going back. Yeah. Definitely. That's Definitely going back. That's Would you rather eat a spider or a dragonfly? Dragonfly. I'm dying. I'm just gonna request death. I got it. This one's for Nick. Would you rather hold a dead bird or lose your brothers? You oh better pick God. hold a dead bird and keep. I'd it have to hold the bird, but like, I'd rather. <laughs> you might be traumatized for the rest of yeah, your life. Yeah. If I can choose, bring Matt and Chris back and die myself, I'll do that. What if all that? Talk to animals or speak all human languages? Speak all human languages. Easily. Talk Easily. to animals. Easily. No. Matt, do you know how successful you can be if you speak every fucking language? First of all, you already had a world record. Yeah, and if you speak no every single language, you can... Is there, is there, if you, is there listen, Google Translate listen, with listen, animals? Listen, No. Listen. Is there Google Translate with humans? Yes. But my thing is, if you if you can talk to animals, you're going to want to talk about that. Like, you're not going to want to live that on your own. You yes, know I what I'm am. saying? So, then I could cheat the if system. You can speak, I could have them do something for me. If you can... You can start, like, a... Oh, my, oh my God, God, I'm with that. I can now you can Now we cult. can start, like... Imagine one of you just walking, like, 80 dogs. You are way you. more powerful if you can talk to every animal in the world than every human in the I world. I agree. I switched my... What? Answer. Wait, you just persuaded me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Look at me go... go. Yeah, I'm definitely switch. Like I'm hopping tracks. Yeah, you be at a zoo and like say you you're don't already like, living life. You already living life speaking one language, and you're gonna probably live the rest of your life not speaking any language. Being able to fucking speak animal on top of that? Are you kidding yeah. me? I'm what if like it. you want to be a magician and no one knows you can speak to animals, right? And you just exactly. have like a bear or something. A giraffe. And you're just like, yo, like what? I'm about to tell him like you're gonna like roll over or something. Like, and you go, hoogly boogly. <laughs> no, over. you go, you go, you go. Abracadabra, roll over, and then just fucking rolls over, and you're like, good shit, I'll give you a fucking peanut after the show, yeah, and then you're just like, then you're or just your whole loved. trick could just be, they understand what you're saying. Oh my god. Like, you, like you could just like, oink, and then they'll oink. do it, and then they'll do it back, <laughs> and then like, that's the whole trick. It's like, they knew yeah, but that like, you meant oink. Or you can be like, oh, I'm gonna tell him to go run over there, and then you'd be like, yo, pick. Run over there real quick. Well, like, oh, yeah, my my question though. is, when you're talking to the animal, are you just speaking in your language and they're picking up on what you're saying? Yeah, like, you're say speaking, it's like a bear, or you're like you growl. You're speaking, you can just totally you're communicate speaking to English and it's oinking back to you. Like, but you understand. But you it. understand. Okay. Like, Forty thousand subscribers, <laughs> bitch. What the fuck? That's like forty thousand. That's bro. a lot of people, bro. Do you know that? Like Forty thousand subscribers. <laughs> Forty thousand subscribers, 40, bitch. Is a lot. That is. That means we're sixty k from a plaque, bro. <laughs> That's wicked. That we is didn't wicked, start that. Bro. We hit ten k. We got an extra ten k added on to our existing subscribers within the past twenty eight days. No way. Forget yeah. about it, dude. We were at 30k last heck? month. We're, no. we're doing great, and it's because of you. You watching this video. Then that brings we, us into our next segment here. Yeah, we want to keep it real with you guys. Keep because, you know, like, you guys are like, besides all of our friends and whatnot, you guys are like what we do every day. So you whoa. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? I just, <laughs> you just said we do them every day. <laughs> yeah, okay, my, my fault. Besides all of our, like, friends and hanging out with them, like, our other family is you guys. You know, you guys are here for us. You guys always watch our videos. So we might as well, like, 
you know, treat you guys the same as we would treat our friends. So my ultimate goal is to, like, keep it real with you guys. We're going to have a you. quick talk. Yeah, a quick talk. Because, you know, I think it's important that every once in a while, like, we sit and, with you guys the same way we'd sit with a friend or sit with our mom or sit with our dad or sit with our older brother, Justin, you know. So we want you guys, like, to feel free, you know, comment things, like, or, like, shoot us DMs. We answer DMs constantly. I'm o I am always answer DMs. So it's, DMs. like, obviously we get a lot of DMs because we are constantly telling people to DM us and we have somewhat of a large following. So we struggle sometimes to answer all of our DMs, but we're constantly answering DMs if you guys literally just, like, feel like you have no one to reach out to and you need to talk to someone. We, Matt and Chris are constantly answering DMs as, as much as we possibly can. I mean, that's a big thing for us because the entire point of being content creators is to be able to create content that entertains or gives people a place to escape to watch. And we feel like there's no point in us just giving you guys these videos to watch if you're not actually invested in what the videos are. So yeah, point, we like, want you guys need to like, you guys have an equal impact with everyone else. That's why we do videos where it's like you guys say stuff on our Instagram story. We do Instagram polls constantly because we actually want to hear from you guys because without you guys, me and Matt and Chris are making videos for ourselves to watch. So it's like, yeah, there's like no you guys are YouTube doing channel this. without our subscribers. So. so we're trying to keep it real with you guys and everything like that. Um, what else can we add on to that? I would say that we're hashtag blessed. Yeah, very blessed for you guys, you know. I haven't I've been f haven't feeling feeling the best lately, you know, like sometimes. And I feel like all all the time whenever you see like me, Matt and Nick, it's like social media, like, ooh, put on this happy face, whatever, create content, be all excited and happy. But like, you know, sometimes there are times where we like don't want to film or like get stressed out and it's just not on social media. You know, the simple things you guys supporting us and everything helps us out a lot, so I mean we really appreciate it and um you know, it, it gets hard to, like, come up with new ideas every week, put out the best content. There's been several times where, like, me, Matt, and Nick film content. We're like, that's not even good enough to go out. Like, no, don't do that. Like, but, like, we do enjoy doing everything, and we have fun filming. It just gets really stressful t sometimes, especially, like, all of our lives are on social media. Like, this is, you guys know most of, like, everything about us. So, I mean, you know, anxiety's real, depression's real. I'm not, like, depressed, but, like, even... I don't yeah, know. it's just, just like the same aspect of like social media creators like social media is not 100% authentic and real And it's like me Matt and Chris are authentic and real with our content in like happy spaces But we're obviously not gonna record us if we're down and upset and it goes for like all creators where it's like people aren't gonna Constantly post things that upset them and so people aren't gonna speak up about things like people are just gonna Keep social media like this happy fake place and that's why it's important for me Matt and Chris to occasionally do this with you guys where we talk about how it's like me and Matt and Chris, obviously, like, we have our own struggles and stuff in our real life. And it's not like this is, like, a plead for help. That's not what we're doing here. It's just, like, we want you guys to realize we're real people, you're real people. Whatever emotions you're feeling when you're coming to our YouTube channel are valid. When you're coming to watch our videos. Things that you DM us about are valid when you're coming and reaching out to your friends and stuff. So it's, like, yeah, and we like, just want to be an outlet for main, you guys. And the main goal is to, for everyone that's, like, not being, like, not having these very happy emotions all the time or, like, going through something at school, going through something at work, you can go on the internet, watch us, be a little yeah. more happier. It's, it's a, like, like our, our goal is to make our YouTube subscribers more of, like, a family than a fan base, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, and, the Sterniolo family. And then help you guys be a better you. Yeah. And, like, I was watching Balen Levine the other day, and Balen Levine is, like, he, he makes the goofiest content in the world, right? And he did something similar to this where he just talked to his viewers and everything. And he w he he said it the best. Like, I am i won't even come close to, like, how he said it. But, like, he was, like, the best things you can have is, like, good parents and stuff. Our mom and dad are, like, they totally understand what we want to do. They support us 110%. They're giving us, like, a house to live in while we could be going to college. We could be working part-time jobs. But instead, we're, like, content creators with no jobs. Like, obviously, that's not, like, ideal for, like, kids our age. But me, Matt, and Nick have such, like, faith and belief that we can make it. And our parents helping us out by just giving us, like, what we need to, like... Time. Time and just, just to, like, help us and stuff like that. And then, you know, in Idol, I, like... Everyone has an idol or, like, a favorite social media creator, like, you're a favorite rapper or anything that you look up to. Like, Balin was saying his is, like, Lil Yachty, like, super supportive person. And, like, our, mine's probably Balin himself, you know? Supportive, always talks to his viewers and everything. Upbeat and, like, keeps it, keeps it cool with everyone, you know? He has, like, the best fan base I could, I think, ever.
Like Balin, Balin's army is just absolutely insane. Shout out to Balin and um, what else did he say? Parents and, and like another, another and your friend group, friends. your friend group that you s surround yourself with. Yeah, like, the, don't the, fucking hang out, hang out with people because they're the coolest people in the school. Like, and then the thing he said about like one solid good friend is better than twelve fake friends. It's, it's so real. It's so real. I rather, oh, I'm blessed that I have so many very very good friends yeah we have we have so many we like have so many like real and i friends. feel like it's because there's like three of us like matt's friends are always like mine and nick's friends and then like we all find our own friends but somehow they just become all three of our friends they like, just yeah we have so many good friends and like it's like insane how much one friend like even nick and chris like having them but like literally one good solid friend that you can just tell everything to is way better than like 12 half ass friends that are yeah. gonna be yeah, and it's that like, are gonna turn on you at the end of the day. Yeah, just find and a good and friend. Chris are like speaking from experience too. It's not like we're like l adding on to this where it's like, oh, like what people always say, like make sure your friends are cool. It's like genuinely, you are so much better off in a space where it's like you have a very solid close knit friend group than multiple friends of like random like sporadic groups like making new friends constantly you just have to find one person that's down for you and it, like just keep it real like with your applauds close ones. you applauds you for things you do and isn't jealous of you like you have to have like that one person rather than like an entire group because that's just fake because and no another one, thing is like, that many people like yeah another thing shit. is like keep it real with like just like having that one real friend and is like keeping it real with them and surrounding yourself around people that want the same thing as you you know what i mean like having the friends that you have the same dreams and aspirations with is like the best thing in the world or the people that just like listen and understand like me matt and nick are all fighting for this social media together that's why i feel like me matt like social media nick has said it several times our youtube channel basically like made like our our relationship as us three like so much stronger and like i'm gonna give a shout out to elmer right now is like Elmer went to high school with us for four years, freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year. And we were close to him. We knew of him, like, growing up. We were, like, always just chill no, with one another. We didn't have a conversation until we graduated. Exactly. And then Elmer started doing his thing in music. We started doing our thing in YouTube. And we started to respect another, like, each other on, like, damn, he's they're killing it, like, doing what they want. He was like, I'm, like, I'm killing it, doing what I want, you know. He's That's doing like his music. Balance. Yeah, it's like an equal balance. We both want the same thing. And we just, like, instantly click. Like, Elmer's one of my, like, top, like, three best friends already. And he just, like, totally just came in out of nowhere. And it's because we want the same thing. We, like, help each other out, you know. Just keep, surround yourself with people that, like, are actually there for you and support you. And people that really care and people that want the same thing as you if you don't want to vape smoke drink me matt and nick are totally sober and we that's like the best thing is like when we're going to events together none of us three know we're gonna like do anything stupid you know have that one friend that like doesn't drink or smoke or vape you know and like just chill with them you know i mean you can hang out with people who drink it. it's not like that it's like as long as they respect your opinion exactly like if you're hanging out with people who are drinking and they're trying to like peer pressure you to tag along it's okay to be your independent being like me matt and chris have friends who do drink and do smoke, but that they know that it's like a personal decision that they're making and they're not forcing it on us. Like, yeah, like as I'm long cool. as your friends are keeping it to themselves and not trying to force you to do it, if you're trying to stay sober, go for it. And it's not like me, man, Chris, like guilt tripping people who smoke and drink, like, oh, you definitely shouldn't do that. It's just like, it's not our thing. And it's like, that's nothing that you can be forcing on people that quickly. I, and like, it's, it's like, it's more of like, yourself. It's, it's a personal thing. And it's more of like, I don't care if people smoke and vape and drink whatever they want to do like they can do but it's the people that got into it because of their friends that don't even want to be drinking and smoking that's like the worst like you need to like just snap out of it get out of it you know and just you it's like people that are like oh you're a little bitch for like not doing this it's like it's yeah, the stupidest thing ever dude, you're literally yeah. you're being controlled by a liquid that you put into your body and you're calling someone else a bitch when you're like alcohol's bitch you know what i mean but yeah basically you are who you surround yourself with don't do anything stupid guys be smart be careful be, be careful grades. fuck good fuck grades. good grades. Never mind. don't get that honestly if school. okay if you're doing a job that requires school doctor nurses all my smarties out there get your grades straight if you want to do youtube like me matt and nick 
fuck school. Obviously, no, don't say fuck school. Graduate school, try your hardest, at least put in some effort. You know, I can't be vouching this because you have to practice what you preach, and I definitely didn't practice this. But, like, get your grades right, you know, just get to the point, get, su succeed through high school, college, yeah. whatever you want to do. Figure out what you gotta but do. But you chase your dreams. Like, you guys can do anything you want to do. On God, baby. Me, Matt, and Nick want to do YouTube so bad, so we're chasing it right now, you know, there's so many things that you can and do. The fact that we're at fucking 40k subscribers, just tell them mine, just mine. means that we're so much closer than, than ever. And yeah, if right you guys like deep conversations like this, we can do them more often at like the end of little videos, but mm -hmm. I'm not trying to make our whole channel like a sob story, you know, I'm trying to... And another thing though, honestly, since we're talking about like how we want our content to be a place for you guys to go and stuff, we're going to try and start live streaming more so that there's more of like that interaction between us and you. And we have like, if you miss live streams when we do do it, we're creating a YouTube channel so that we can post our live streams. So that it's just like, if you yeah. really need to escape and get out of somewhere and like watch something on social media, you we're we're gonna have like we're gonna be like two hour videos uploaded to our we're gonna be YouTube streaming channel. like on Twitch is like our main streaming platform. I'm gonna put our Twitch. Nick's gonna uploading put it to YouTube, which is gonna be yeah. Nick's gonna put his put the Twitch right here, and then when we stream on Twitch after the stream is totally wrapped up, we put it on YouTube. YouTube put it on Matt, so it's like right here and right here. Mm -hmm. But you have the Twitch stream, the YouTube channel that this Twitch streams goes on, and um. Uh, we're gonna obviously check in with you guys, keep you guys updated on what goes on in our lives, but you know, right now you Spread guys are- Spread authenticity. Yeah, you guys are fully caught up in what our lives are like, so... It's not like 40,000 subscribers like, oh fuck yeah, we're reeling these people into our YouTube channel, we have so many numbers. It's like, we're 40,000 people that we impact by allowing them into our life and watching our videos. It's not like we're desperately sitting waiting for these numbers to fall in, but it's like we're enjoying the fact that there's people out there that want to listen to us and watch our content. So with that being said, we're YouTubers because of you, and we will see you next time we YouTube. Friday, 530. Forget about it. Be there, right? No Wednesday video? I don't think so. No Wednesday video this but week. If we, all the social media, all the all the um, similarity tests are Speaking done. Speaking of achieving dreams, make sure you listen to Elmer's music. Oh please, please stream go listen plate. to music. Yo, also down y'all are fucking whack if you don't stream Young Play. Also down she below is the description. So in the description is the links to all of our individual socials and our group socials. And our group Instagram is the best place to be for when we're streaming updates on our YouTube videos, updates on our life. If you want the most Sterniolo triplets content you can get, the Sterniolo dot triplets Instagram is the number one place for it so go follow that instagram so you can be the first people to impact our youtube video and, <laughs> and know about things that we do is that nasty no let's go Skirt, skirt. Cause all I want is love that you say, And then what you say, how you miss me Yeah, you miss me And all the things that we did We said we're gonna travel from the islands to Madrid